Everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz. The universal frequency balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourselves today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and to get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity. Send me some love telepathically. Set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So uh, I'm going to talk on uh, living in the eternal now, the present moment, and how this is uh, exponentially liberating and uh, even enlightening and um, some very, 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 very simple methods for being able to come into the now. Okay, or into the present moment, right? So let's get into this. Um, so living in the present moment is very, very, very medicinal for us. It is very uh, beneficial. It is very, very liberating. And it is even enlighten enlightening. Okay, uh, why this is? Because when uh, we're talking about past and future there really is uh, no past and future. Okay, this is uh, pretty much like memory and imagination, right? Both of these are illusory conceptual realities that are projected from the eternal moment, right? And when we tend to live in any other projection that is not of the eternal now, we can get mentally entangled, okay? And this can lead to... Um, this can lead to plenty of different things. Uh, for one example, it could even lead to chronic ailments and whatnot. You know, uh, so you want to live in the eternal now, right? You want to be present. You want to be here in the now. Okay, this is the only um, this is the only true way to be because everything else is um, illusory. You know, only in the way that uh, past and, and future are projections. You can't live in the future and you can't live in the past. The past is already past. The future has not come and it will not come. And all there is is now, right? So you got to understand not to live in the projections of the mind, but more so in what is right here in the now. And this is presence. This is the present. This is the eternal now. Okay, all there is. There is no past and there is no future. All there is is now. All right. Uh, and this is very, very liberating because uh, once again, being conditioned very, very heavily and being psychologically censured, we tend to live in the projections of the past and the future. Right. Uh, for example, I can be thinking of what I did a month ago. Right. Maybe I did something wrong a month ago and I'm still thinking about that. Right. But the truth of it is, is that does that does not exist anymore. All right. Uh, and only thinking about it is getting entangled in that illusory projection, which already has passed which is why it's called the past, right? Because it's past already. It's no longer here. Like passing away, dying. You know, uh, you've passed on. You're no longer with us. Okay, but holding on to that can lead to uh, grief, you know, loss and things like that. And the deeper entangled you get into that, the more suffering you're going to experience. Because... It does not exist. It's not here and now, right? So how can I say that it's truth or it is real because it's not real. It's not here and it's not now, right? It's already passed on. And that's the past. That's just memory, okay? Uh, now, future is the exact same thing. Future is just another projection as well. Uh, imagination basically, 
uh, you can imagine what's going to happen in the future off of what is taking place right now and the cycles that you can observe and memorize and the regularities that are occurring and uh, you can make a uh, you can imagine some type of path you know through these uh, and through these observations and uh, maybe steer the now you know, but but you also can't really account for the the irregularities, and you can't really uh, depend on the imagination to take you there all the time, okay? Because it's just uh it's just like the past, it's just a projection, okay? It's not what is here in the now, uh, it's an illusory concept or it's conceptual, which does not exist. So you got to understand that past and future, they aren't here. They're not here with us because they don't exist. All that is here is what is taking place in the eternal now, right now, okay? Uh, and and the reason coming into the eternal now is so liberating is because uh, once you can really experientially realize that there is no past and there is no future, by losing the mind or coming out of the mind you know like dropping your mind don't get caught in your mind 24 7 which means to lose the mind you got to lose the mind right and come into the heart so you can experience total and fully okay so this is very liberating, once again, because uh, you're not getting caught in the concepts. You're not getting caught in the illusions of the mind, which are just projections. You're projecting all of that out mentally from the eternal now, which is what is happening right now, eternally. Okay, uh, so you got to lose the mind. You got to drop the mind. You got to put the mind down. You got to stop living in the mind and you can move your attention to the heart. Okay, this is much more healthy for you because this is where the tree of life is. All right, and this is where you are going to derive life before you go into um, your knowledges, right? You need to have life before you go into your knowledges. Otherwise, uh, it can get self-destructive. So what you want to do, you can get wrathful as well if you... If you uh, if you were central in the mind rather than the heart, okay? Uh, but what you can do to come into the eternal now, if you're somebody who is heavily uh, entangled within the conceptual projections of past and future, you can understand that uh, rather than looking at it linearly, when coming to understand time, see it more of a, a spiraling or a loop or loopings, you know, uh, and by this I mean cause and effects. Ca looking at it through cause and effect is much more uh, accurate to how time functions rather than uh, uh, in a linearcy, you know, past, present, future, point A to point B with the middle point, you know, uh, more so it's causal and affectious, right? Uh, you can see it that way. And this can uh, allow you to come into the eternal now. You can uh, meditate more. Meditating allows you to come into the eternal now because uh, you start to expand your awareness into higher dimensions. And once you reach a certain uh, dimension, it's very, very simply understood that past and future don't exist. And they're just concepts. So that keeps your awareness here in the deep now, uh, which is going to liberate you very much, okay? Uh, and I want to also say doing things like grounding, you know, going outside, getting uh, ground in, you know, like just taking off your shoes, getting on the grass, and uh, getting some negative grounding going. This is also very, very uh, enabling 
when it comes to coming into the eternal now because uh, if you're too positively charged, then it can lead you to uh, projecting yourself everywhere, you know, with, with no grounding and you can't really stay here in the present moment. Uh, but there's plenty of different methods. Once again, you can do uh, anything that feels comfortable for you because everybody has a different way of being able to stay centered in the eternal now. But uh, everybody is everybody deals with uh, the the over excessive entanglement of the mental projections because um, this is how they want people. Okay, this is the conditioning, this is the programming that they want people living in the illusion uh, only because this fuels some type of uh, control that they got going on, you know, so it's up to you and yourself to be able to liberate yourself by coming into the present moment. It's very, very simple too. Uh, you really need to have the experience though, or the, the click, you know, because it's really what it is. It's a click. You kind of just, a, a switch is flipped. And all of a sudden you realize that, okay, there's really no past and there is no future, but an eternal now, right? Uh, and it's the gift of life, okay? So, once again, you got to understand, um, trust the flow of the universe because in the flow is how you're going to be able to come to have the experience of being able to stay within this present moment and not get so deeply entangled in the concepts, right? Uh, which leads to suffering and it leads to, um, it can lead to much more when it comes to suffering because suffering is a catalyst for all different diseases because you're getting put off of your ease, you know, uh, by illusion. So that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. I do thank everybody for watching once again. Peace out. One love. Have a great evening.